As the day was getting on and the sun was starting to set, we saw some free camping signs. So we pulled over to spend the night behind the Craddock Hotel. What a fantastic historic outback pub this is. Cold beer, really excellent food and plenty of room for camping. This room's a recent addition to the pub and opened only the week we got there, this playground for the kids. We're up early the next morning for the short run to Wilpena Pound. Hey, welcome to the Flinders Ranges. Just going to check out the information centre and find somewhere to camp. We were. Where are we now? Over here. That's it. Mum. We arrived just in time for the Easter long weekend, I think. Every man, woman and child that owns a tent in South Australia was here for the weekend. Alright, here we are on the Flinders Ranges. I've gone on my first bushwalk. It's about, about 8 k's return. Should be a bit of a look out at the top. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can find. There's plenty of walking to be done here. I chose the Wangara Lookout Walk. It goes out past the Hills Homestead and up to the lookout overlooking Wilpena Pound. With much of South Australia being in drought since around 2017, it is very, very dry, with only the hardiest of plants managing to survive. What a fantastic view of Wilpena Pound. Wilpena coming from the word from the Aboriginals meaning bent fingers, pound is English for enclosure. 600 million years in the making. Yeah, wow, that was pretty amazing. That was, this is Wilpena Pound. I'm on the way back down. Hell of a climb for an old bloke. <laughs> But uh, well worth the effort. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right now, I'm just going to try and get down here without breaking my neck. Alright, still heading down from the lookout. Can see an old cottage up ahead. Now, you get the impression out here, you really are in the middle of nowhere. And that cottage was built back in the late 1800s. It really was nowhere. Food, like water, drought, just no idea how hard it must have been back then. Flies are bad enough. Oh, I'll have a closer look. In 1899, the Hills family set up a lease here and grew wheat. Five years later, they built the Hills homestead. Hills family worked the land till 1914 when they were driven out not by drought but by flood. We went for a short run to check out Sacred Canyon. Right, who knows where, where we're off to? Where are we going, girls? Sacred Canyon? Yeah. Yeah. Who knows what we're going to see? I don't know. Aboriginal art? Aboriginal drawings? 
exactly right. Oh, kangaroo. Two kangaroos. You are asked to respect the unique value of this area and not damage the engravings. With your co co cooperation, this site will continue to be protected for present and future generations to appreciate. So we're here. We've got to walk along here, I think. What else can you? Where else can you see Aboriginal art? Other uh, Aboriginal art sites of interest in the Northern Flinders Ranges. We're in some caves near Hawker. Okay. Okay, the engraving. Celeste, come and have a look at this. We've got to find a rock pool or spring. That's what that one means. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Wild Wind, break. Wind break. Oh. And a... <laughs> this is a great little walk that anyone could tackle without too much trouble. A little bit of scrambling over rocks and what have you, but it's only a couple of k's long. So I can see I had some Aboriginal art, but some idiot's written their name up there as well. Hmm. You can actually see some water. Someone, an animal's obviously dug there to get a drink of water. Look down there. There is in fact water in there. There is. It's easy to see why this is such a special place to the local indigenous. Uh, it has everything really. You have water, which after a couple of years of drought is quite amazing. Uh, shelter, um, plenty of wallabies and emus if you're uh, keen to go out and catch one for a feed. I'm sure there's plenty of bush tucker around as well. Come back to the cave, and there is Aboriginal art here. You can barely make it out. It's, uh, so carefully, it's literally everywhere. I don't know if you can see it or not? On first look, we didn't see it.
Uh, top of the morning to you. Uh, this is in the middle of a drought we can bring rain. Nice little downpour last night. And as we follow these little gullies where all the water went, it goes directly under the car and straight through the middle of our campsite. A little bit of carnage. See, things got very, very wet very, very quickly. Uh, which had me out digging, digging little channels. Because it would seem, I think what happens is the rangers scrape up all the uh, campfires and push it against the fence, in turn making a dam. <laughs> but, uh, nothing seems to be permanently drowned. Except our poor old Matt here, copped a nice old drenching covered in mud. Anyway, it's all good fun. Rightio, we're going through Parachilna Gorge and it's pretty spectacular. Dennis driving. The girls are in the back looking at their iPad instead of the gorge, which is good. And it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. Some campers. Dean's let down there. Pressure of the tyres, so this road is much nicer. Took a couple of goes to work out how to use the, uh, the quickie deflators. Can't find a YouTube video on that. 